You have a picture here of eight urchin shells from a particular location. So up here on the right, you can see that location. So this is Wallapa Bay. It's in um, on the coast of Washington State. So what you're going to do is use the ruler that's on the slide to measure the eight shells um, that are pictured on your slide. It's really important that you don't um, resize anything on these slides because that will throw everything off um, since we won't have the correct scale. So what you can do is just take this ruler and move it around um, over your urchin. And what you're trying to do is measure the diameter of the widest um, measurement on that particular um, urchin. So if I look at this urchin in the top left-hand corner, I'm going to try to carefully line up my ruler along the left side. And it looks like this urchin, I can also, I can zoom in. That's not a problem. I just don't want to resize anything. So if I go to view, I'm going to zoom to a 200% so I can see this a lot better. And it looks like this first urchin is 4.3 centimeters wide. And I'll just check to make sure that's my longest measurement. Yeah, this is like 3.8. So 4.3 um, centimeters. And I can just do that a couple times and just confirm, you know what, now with that zooming in, it looks like it's more like 4.2 centimeters. So I'm gonna go with 4.2 centimeters. And then on the next slide, I'll go ahead and um, start writing my measurements. So my first measurement here um, is 4.2. I'll just use a comma so I can um, keep track of that. And then I'll go back and I'll measure my second urchin. So again, it looks like the longest measurement is going to be this horizontal. Um, here we go. So it looks like this one is 4.5. One thing, um, you know, it's possible that my um, longest measurement isn't perfectly, um, you know, either in this horizontal or vertical direction. So I can um, rotate my ruler if needed. So I did a little rotation here and let's just see if I get a larger measurement. So yeah, it looks like here it's 4.6 centimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and record 4.6 centimeters on my data slide for my second um, urchin. So I'll continue to do that for all eight of the urchins here. Um, let me go back so we can see everything. Okay, the other thing I need to do is um, decide on the colors. So if you look at my data table, I need to figure out the percent dark, the percent medium and percent light. So um, with data like these, it's a little bit um, subjective, right? So I... Um, I'm going to just sort of compare a little bit. I do have um, a slide to compare to in my notebook, but I'll go ahead or in my journal. So um, I'm gonna count one, two, three as light. So three out of eight are light. Um, and then one, two, three, medium, and then these two are gonna be dark. So three medium, two dark, and then I can calculate um, the percentage. So two divided by eight, um, I have my calculator. I don't know if you can see my calculator here, but I'm doing two divided by eight equals 0.25 times 100%, 
So I get 25%. Um, and I can do that also with my other two. So three divided by eight equals times 100%. And I'm going to round to the closest percentage. So I actually got 37.5%. I'm gonna go ahead and round up to 38%. And my light will be the same, 38%. All right, so I will go ahead and um, do that here for the first row in this table. Once I have all eight of my measurements for the eight um, urchin on my screen, I'm going to go ahead and take the average. So I'll add up my eight measurements and divide by eight. I only have two measurements here. So if I were to take the average of two, I would just add up those two. So 4.2 plus 4.6 equals, and then divide by two. So I've got 4.4. Um, again, you wanna do that with all eight measurements. Um, you'll get some instructions on what to do in the last two rows. So just leave those blank for now. You're just going to measure those top two rows or fill out the top two rows for now.